Hello everybody. In this tutorial, we want to see how to create a PDF document directly in PHP and make a website printable in a standard PDF format. In this example, we have a simple Windows Web Server 2008 R2 with the IIS 7.5 and a regular PHP installation. So I will not show how to set up the server and the PHP. So I hope that you have already installed it or if you want to use the XAMPP installation uh, as an alternative, you can have a look at my other videos regarding XAMPP. Okay, now we start. We need um, only one PHP class that is called uh, FPDF. And so we go to Google and go to the FPDF website. I will go to the German version here, but you can find uh, the English version as well, the English website as well. The class itself is completely in English. So I go to downloads and download the latest release as a regular zip document. So I can open it directly. Here we have. So I will close the browser and I have prepared uh, a subdomain that is called HTML to PDF mm, with an empty folder here. So when I open this website, it will show nothing because this is empty. And for this testing purpose, I will copy all the documents from the zip folder into my uh, website. And now we have this fpdf.php um, class document, but we need a second uh, index document or any other PHP document that you want um, the PDF creation to be included. I will call it index.php. And in our example, we want to use the image, so I copy an image JPEG file inside. Okay, so um, I start with the documentation and with the installation inst instructions um, where they have a simple uh, example document right here in the example tutorial section. Uh, I use tutorial 2 because it's a bit more interesting. And it shows us what we will need in our uh, index.php uh, file. So we require the fpdf php here. That is the one we just down uh, we just downloaded. And we need um, this kind of code to generate this tutorial website. So I will copy this. and open my index.php, paste it here. And because the fpdf is in the same directory, it's uh, okay like this. But they'll use a logo and I insert our image here so that um, we can use our own image. Okay, save. That was the first step. And the second step will be the, um, the FPDF document where we will find the installation in the installation guide here that we have to um, include the fonts 
into our FPDF and we need to open the fpdf.php. I will open it with the WordPad. And here we have this part. And like the installation manual says, we have to um, replace this part with this. We can copy and to make it paste it here. And this is this is double, so I can delete this. And I copy it the example here, but it's an older version, so uh, my actual used version is 1.7, so I will replace this to 1.7. And I can delete this. Um, and now I have to define the path to the font folder that is here in the zip package. And in the font, there is some uh, font handling stuff. So I need to put this part, uh, this path into my path here. And because I have a Windows system, it's a bit different from the Unix or Linux version. So it has to look like this. And I think I need a slash in the end. Okay, so now I have edited the FPDF document, a class document, and I have the index.php. And now I try to have a look in our folder here, in our website. And now he creates a PDF document that will be shown into in the browser window, but you can play around with this like you want to. And um, yeah, that's it, that's it. This uh, text here is the example te text that was placed in our index PHP, um, like this here. So we just uh, says row number and he counts up to 40. So yeah, it's just an example. You can fill in everything that you want here. And you can edit, of course, all the, um, yeah, all the layout of this PDF document. Okay, so that's it. And now you can, of course, uh, print this PDF like every other PDF document, or you can download it like this. So, okay, that was uh, the quick introduction and have fun doing it by yourself. Bye-bye.